Hello, everyone. My name is Sandy Glaze. I'm a personal transformation and self-development coach. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> some of you may have noticed that I haven't been here for a little while, and I took some time this summer to myself just to reorganize and regroup and uh, maybe start a different chapter in my life and what I've been working on. What I wanted to talk to you today about is um, imposter syndrome. And what I'm noticing or what I've been noticing in the last number of months is how many people are writing about imposters. And I really didn't quite understand what it meant until I went through some of it myself. But what's good about going through it is now I can help other people see the signs when they know somebody's not being genuine with them. Because a lot of these imposters are professional imposters. And it's really important if we're going to make the changes we want to see in the world that um, we can go through it without having as many trials and tribulations because of other people's interference. And uh, so, so um, I'm thinking of the people who talked about the imposters. Some of them could be faked as gurus. They could be faked as experts, pretending to be an expert in an area of information that may or may not be true. They can be misleading information. They can be uh, triangulating you, which means that they're going to other people and saying things about you and trying to get people to turn against you, but you don't understand why all of a sudden you're being targeted by these people with um, comments or views that are suspect, but meanwhile, it wasn't their views. It was somebody else feeding them information. And what is really good with that is asking the people, why, do, why, why would you think that of me? So if somebody says something to you, ask why would they think that? Who told them that? And start getting down to who they're discussing this kind of information with so that um, they know they can't be triangulated again. Another one is wasting your time. They will call you and talk about things that just maybe matter, maybe they don't matter, maybe it's true and maybe it's not true. They can be telling you stories to elicit sympathy, to help siphon your energy and drain your energy and strengthen them. So uh, take stock if somebody's trying to talk to you about something, is this really something that you need to talk to them about or is it something that maybe they need to get professional help with? Divide and conquer. Um, they like to infiltrate groups. So it's, they'll try to get to know who your friends are or who you're, maybe who you hang out with. And they try to infiltrate those groups of people so they can learn things about you. So if you ever challenge them, they can turn around and tell you personal things about yourself and it makes you paranoid, right? Like it's, um, these people really have uh, no personality. They're very, just very shallow people. Um, shaming you at your very core. Um, when, when it's okay to feel shame about things you do, but not about who you are. But if they shame you at the very core of who you are or what you believe or what your values are, chances are that they're here to try to cause you pain and suffering because they're not who they say they are. And it wouldn't be, um, it could be very passive aggressive. So it could even be a friend who you think is saying this to you, but they're really not a friend because they shouldn't be trying to shame you. Another one they do is they try to control the narrative. And what that looks like is, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. No, no, I gotta talk, I gotta talk. When people are trying to control the information that is being said to you, I think this is why hypnotherapy and uh, NLP are so um, very effective in what they do. You hear something enough times, you might believe it's true. And sometimes you have to hear it from different people, but sometimes it's just hearing it from the same person repeatedly. Um, a lot of shell games. And what I mean by shell games, they'll have you looking at something and then, oh, they introduce something else and then they introduce something else and then they go back and bring the first thing back in again. That's a real tough one to watch for because if you don't um, realize that you're being conned by an imposter, you might be partway down the gauntlet before you realize you're even being set up. And there's a few things that you can do to um, go back and start reassessing the information. Unfortunately, we have to be around some of these imposters. And the reason we have to be around them is we don't know the games they play, but over time they will surely show their hands. Another game that they, um, or another stunt they pull imposters, if they know of any old injuries you have, whether emotional wounds, whether it's a betrayal, whether it's something that didn't work out, maybe uh, you feel bad you started a project and it didn't finish, but it doesn't matter what it is, but they will really rub salt in your wounds. And I've heard some of the most horrific things come out of mouths of people who pretended to be decent people or be the victim. Sometimes they play that they're the victim. Um, another one is manipulations. They want to manipulate you into believing what they think is true. And, and for me, what I've found, the best thing you can do sometimes is just sit back and observe them. Try to stay in that neutral 
Obser observer position. So you're in your higher self, but you're just observing what's going on. And if you can release your attachment to outcome and just want to hear it for the information that it is so that you can decide what, what is going on with this person or this group, that is a good way to um, just to stay above it all and not get, not get too close because sooner or later, if there's more than one, two, three, five working together, you're going to start to see who is working together. They'll, they'll show themselves um, at some point. The other one is distortions making themselves look, making them look good. So they're making evil look good. And we see this quite a bit when we look at the pillars of society, how they all have to be upstanding citizens. Many of them do a lot of charity work. Um, sometimes they will have a philanthropy. Um, we know a certain person who was a software, runs a software company who now thinks he's a medical doctor. So, so they, um, they, they try to make themselves look good but it's a false sense of, um, it's not true. But what they do is they surround themselves with enough people and they will give them enough monetary rewards or they'll give them a promotion or they'll give them something, dangle something in front of them that they go along with the charade so that you think, well, it must be true because all these people are following this individual when it's nothing further from the truth that it's all based on um, bribes. Um, so they're masters of words. And when I say they're masters at words, again, this is the NLP and the hypnotism. And our voice is what commands our reality, which commands our bodies, which gives us our internal dialogue. So they command the word, but what many of them will do, they do not want you to see their face. So they will only allow you to see them or talk to them on the phone. But you don't know if that number is real or not, or if it's in that area code or not. We really don't know how, how good they are at programming uh, the different electronics that we they give us the impression maybe they're you know, in the city next to you when it turns out they're they're in a country next to you. So there's all kinds of games that they can play. But the masters at words, again, um, they, they want you to know a certain narrative, but you can't see the facial expressions. So what comes to mind for me is the mask wearing right now, we can't see their facial expressions. So you can watch their eyes if, if they're wearing masks, but on the phone, you can hear the voice, but if they're masters and actors and what a stage it is, right? And many of them are actors. They are um, bad actors, but they're actors. And they will manipulate you by making you think you're special or they appreciate you or you have something they want or, oh, thank goodness for you. And they try to stroke your ego. And it really helps if you don't have an ego that you're not, a, I shouldn't say that. Let me take that back. It really helps if you're in command of your ego. I don't think an ego is a bad thing. It depends on how you use it. Sometimes you need an ego to be able to um, ward off whatever in this 3D reality. But um, that's what they try to do anyways, is manipulate you with their words. Often they'll tell you outrageous stories that something happened to their face so they can't be on camera. You know, so so when it's when it's um, so outrageous, chances are they're spinning you a line and it's like a sting operation. There might be a bit of truth into some things they say, but there's um, an agenda behind getting you to believe what they say or they're just wasting your time. But you can't see their face. So you can never identify them. So, so who's to say that some of these people online that are, what do they call them? Bot accounts? I think they call them bot accounts. Who's to say that some people aren't running 10 accounts and they're just running it in, in with different people, pretending to be different people. So we, we don't know that because we can't see their faces. The, what I'm really trying to drive home for everybody is to trust yourself. If you're, if you're starting to speak up. So why this happens with the imposters they're going after people who are speaking up and it doesn't matter what field you're speaking up in. If you're speaking up in financials, if you're speaking up with the food supply, if you're speaking up with the, elect the elections, but it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what area you're speaking up. They do not want the truth coming out in any way, shape or form. And I, I, um, I've heard doctors that are getting targeted. All kinds of people are being targeted right now. Um, Marjorie Taylor Smith, I think is her name. She just came out and said she was swatted because she, she wants to pass a bill to protect children from getting their, their genitals mutilated for the transgender agenda. Like she could have been killed with that. So that's how evil some of these imposters are and what lengths they will go to to win. So it's really easy for the police to take a call and say, this person needs to be you know, checked on that she's a danger. She's gonna kill her family or do something. Why are they not insisting that when somebody calls with such an extreme uh, message for them, why are they not checking out and saying, give me a number I can call you back at, I'm going to verify this issue. 
so that they can go back if it turns out it's a prank because that would be very scary for her. I, I, I can't imagine what that would be like, but it's gotta be very, very scary for people. And I'm surprised the police aren't taking more steps to um, verify the information. And I really don't give a damn what your policies are. Maybe you need to change your policies. It's It could be as simple as that, right? Um, social media. A lot of people um, are acknowledging that social media is set up by three letter agencies by CIA or FBI, who, who knows who it is. But, um, you know, let's just make the point there that if they set it up to monitor people, they didn't do it not to monitor people. So chances are they probably have teams and teams of people out in social media setting up fake accounts to draw people in to get them to tell their story so they know who's going to speak up. So we can, um, you know, use some common sense when it comes to these imposters and realize they don't have anybody's best interest in heart at heart, but their own. And that's what I'm noticing. I've noticed about, I don't know how many fake accounts have been set up to um, uh, help on the human trafficking and at least three of them, at least that I'm aware of. And none of them are like, I'm, I'm talking setting up channels, not just the people I can tell who the people are that are uh, pretending to be good and they're not. But um, these are just some of the games they play to draw people in. And as we're standing up, I have a good feeling about a lot of things that are coming down. As more people are standing up, it's important to understand that these imposters are everywhere. You might you might find one in your grocery store that is is been in your neighborhood and um, they're told something bad about you. You know, I can remember a time I was in a coffee shop talking to a friend and we were talking about a lot of the awakening. This was maybe four years ago. I don't know if it's more than four years ago or not. But um, anyways, this guy comes in and it, like you can see he has an agenda and he comes in, he sits down behind me and he turns his ear to listen to us. And my friend looks at him and I look at this, like I look at this guy's ear. Well, we started with every outrageous thing we have ever heard and we're talking about it. And next thing you know, another guy comes in. So can they read our energy fields? Can they read our consciousness? Or are they reading it through the electronics? Like they're aware of it, that they know who, they don't know who you are necessarily, but they send somebody in to listen to see what you're doing. I understand this can sound incredibly paranoid, but it's not. This is the reality of what we're in. We're already in a surveillance state. What I find interesting is the number of people who actually work in the surveillance state, but we don't see that uh, as a reflection in the uh, economy or in the economic numbers that um, this, this is what's been going on anyways. This is what I'm seeing, so. Um, so I don't know what they're going to do, like where things are going to go. We've seen people be, be raided, their houses be raided. But this isn't new. It happens right across the board. The only difference is when they do it to someone who has um, high profile or famous, more people see it. So there could be good for that. So if you're speaking up, monitor your new friends. Uh, are they credible? Are they speaking up with you as well or just putting you in play? Anybody who wants to put you in play, they do not have the same agenda as you. And I can think of a man who told me that um, he, he wants to stop human trafficking, but he doesn't post about pedophilia. And in hindsight, I think he set up a friend of mine, but um, and, and that's here nor there, I'm not gonna go into that story. But if they're saying they're with you, they should be doing what you're doing or doing similar things that you can compare and see that they're putting their butt on the line too. And if they're not, they might be just trying to infiltrate you to see what you're doing. Often these um, imposters, they will flatter you, right? So they'll sit there and say great things about you and how much they appreciate you. So if they need you to be their spokesperson because they haven't got the guts to do it themselves, I, I'm going to put it out there that they're not your friends. Um, some of these people um, play the victim. I, I know there's a lot of people out here right now pretending to be parents who lost their children to CPS. And I don't think that's true, but they're trying to direct you to go back to the system to get your children back. Um, so a lot of these uh, imposters, they don't care. They So when you're watching what information's coming out, if they, they have a channel that says they're to do A, let's just use the letter A, and great information's coming out, but they never post these other people who are putting their presentations out or their documentaries out, and they're not really speaking up about it, chances are they're not who they say they are, regardless of who it is, whether it's regarding healthcare, nutrition, it doesn't matter what it is. Set the intention to see who is corrupt around you. Set the intention to be able to sense who the imposter is. And when I say that, it's not that you're going out looking for imposters, but just ask to be shown the truth about people's intentions and um, it has to be shown in a way that you can handle it and stop assuming in a world that's waking up that everybody wants the world to be a better place or that the majority want a good world for everybody. Because there's some people who really 
they get off on the greed and they think they're getting ahead financially and that's all they're capable of. They don't want this to change. And some of them are control freaks. They just don't, they can't handle the thought of losing. So they have to take whoever is standing out, standing up out to give them a sense, full sense of esteem. So it's sad in some ways that this is where we're at. But unfortunately, um, I think we're seeing a lot of this. So many people are being targeted. And that's what I wanted to share today. If you're being targeted, these are just some of the games that these people play. So greed seems to be their um, the reason for doing what they're doing and trying to stop other people, but whether they can slow themselves down and really ask themselves, are, are they in alignment with what they truly believe? Because sooner or later, um, I, I think no matter what's happening, so many people are in a bad state because of this medical procedure that uh, it's gonna affect everybody. And even if people are worked at, uh, paid as imposters, whether it's in government agencies or they're just paid in a, a group that they belong to or they get some sort of a benefit, I think it's gonna affect more people than not. So I, I'm just gonna leave it at that. But um, so just trust yourself that if you're speaking up and things don't feel right, Trust yourself because chances are you're probably right. They don't feel right because somebody's already sent something you posted online and now they're watching you or they're befriending you in, in behind the scenes or trying to talk to you and flattering you and giving you comments about how amazing you are. It's not why you're doing it. If you're doing it for those reasons, you're probably doing it for the wrong reasons and um, you're going to get duped real, real fast. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, it's the end of August 2022. And we're getting back in the saddle and uh, it seems things are starting to heat up as more disclosures are happening. And uh, I want to encourage more people to speak up about the truth, regardless of what their whatever area that they want to speak about, because it's, the whole thing needs to change. The whole system needs to fall. And um, it's kind of interesting because now we're watching it fall because it was never based on anything but a house of cards. So hope you enjoyed this video. By all means, like it, share it with people um, who are speaking up. And um, if anyone has any concerns or questions, you can email me, Sandy, at endinggloballoneliness.com. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for ways to strengthen yourself so that if you are speaking up, that you can watch some of these pitfalls, because it's like a simulation game. You know, there's some rewards and there's some booby traps. And if you can see what some of the booby traps are and how they're put in play, it might make it an easier journey for you. So anyways, I uh, just wanted to say that to people and um, wish everybody all the best in 2022 remainder and going forward. And uh, let's be the change we want to see. Thank you.